What's up, salsa lovers? Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a salsa a la plancha, aka cooked salsa for your tacos and your favorite dishes with comino. I've never been one to make my salsas with comino, but some of my friends swear by it. So today I'm going to try it for the first time. And in this video, we're also going to answer one of the most asked questions I get about salsas, which is how long can I store my salsa after making them? And spoiler alert, y'all, there is no right answer. But in this video, I'll share my thoughts on the best way to store your salsas in the fridge and how to keep them fresh as long long as possible. So all you need to make this salsa is a hot plancha, a little bit of oil, and your favorite salsa ingredients. In this video, we're using three Roma tomatoes, three tomatillos, four serrano peppers, three cloves of garlic, half of a white onion, five chile de arbol peppers, a teaspoon of cumin, two teaspoons of American Pitmaster OG, which is salt, pepper, garlic, a handful of cilantro, and the juice of one lime. And that's all you need for a delicious salsa a la plancha. Vamonos! Now we're gonna add a little bit of oil here to the griddle. You can see it's smoking just a little bit. A little bit of oil there. I'm gonna spread it out a little bit, just like so. Lay my tomatoes, my tomatillos down. Take the stems off of the uh, serrano peppers. We're gonna put our garlics in here too. Our onions over on this side. And I'm gonna lay all of these arbol chiles right over here. Just wanna heat them up just a little bit. Those are gonna come out right away. That's what you want, a little bit of char. And you toast them a little bit. They smell so good. Remind me of the guajillo chiles, that smell, and, and the ancho chiles. They just have such a great aroma. You don't want to overcook the garlic. We're going to pull those out next here in a little bit. You want a nice little color on them. Just a little char. Garlics will lose some of their punch if you overcook them. All right, now one thing you can do, tomatillos are very, very uh, dense. You can kind of cut these in half here and just be very careful. All right, I'm gonna pull these garlics out. They are done, done. Serrano peppers are pretty much done, so I'm gonna pull these out too. I like to get my onions a little bit more cooked, and I'm gonna give these tomatillos one more flip, and we are done, friends. Tell me in the comments, have you ever made a salsa on the griddle before? Now this all together took about 15 minutes, friends. Didn't take long at all. We're ready to go inside here in just a minute and start blending up the salsa. It's gonna be good, good, good. All right, I'm gonna leave these onions on just a couple of minutes longer and we are done, done. All right, boys and girls, we're back inside. We are ready to get our blender fired up. We're gonna go ahead and throw all of our chiles. Just everything's going in there at the same time today. We wanna make sure we get all of this juice in there too. God, it smells so good right here. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna get one teaspoon of comino. This is half a teaspoon. This is the other half. We're gonna add two teaspoons of OG. This is salt, pepper, garlic. Again, this is a half. We're gonna put one, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and pulse it first, and then we'll see if we need to add any water. All right, remember, always put your hand up here just in case. Give it a couple of pulses, you're good to go. You can add water, you can add chicken stock. I always use water. We are gonna go ahead and try that chicken stock, chicken on cement, one of these days. Today's not the day. Let's get the cilantro and the lime in here. I don't usually like a lot of stems. I'm gonna let some of them slide today because it's all bunched up in here. So we're gonna put that in there. So it's about a handful, a nice tight handful. That's about all we need. Maybe a little bit more. Here's a pro tip. Roll your lime, put a little bit of pressure. That helps loosen up the juice. Right, we're gonna put the juice of half of a lime in here. Let's go ahead and get our lid on here and give it the last little blend. All right, let's pour this salsa back in here. You notice the color, it's beautiful. Has a slightly green color. Oh man, it smells so good. Now for the best part, let's give it the taste test. Mm. Mm. <coughs> I need a beer. Man, that was so good. You can taste a little tart from the lime and the tomatillo. You can taste that little umami from the red tomatoes. A good amount of heat. It definitely has a punch. Not like a habanero hot where it's gonna blow up your mouth. It's like really, just really, really good. If you like hot stuff, this is gonna be just medium hot for you. It's just really, really good. I know it's too hot for my mom, too hot for my wife, but not for me, it's just right. We took a little break to go ahead and boil all those other green serrano peppers that I had. And I'm gonna set Oof, man, <laughs> that was strong. We don't want to let any serrano peppers, jalapeno peppers, any kind of peppers go to waste. You can always make the salsa ahead of time. You can freeze it. <coughs> it's hot, it got me in here. 
<clears throat> if you don't have any uh, mason jars, you can always use a Ziploc. Get it in there as much as you can. Zip it up nice and tight, get all the air out. Today I made just enough for this jar here. That's all the sedano peppers we had. So we like to save ours in mason jars, both in the refrigerator and in the freezer as well. And we want to get as much of that out as we can. You don't want to put that lid on tight. You want to leave it loose, let it breathe a little bit until it cools off. So a lot of times people ask me, how long can it last in the refrigerator? Well, the answer to that is there's no exact answer because there's so many variables when it comes to food safety, especially when I get salsa out, like for breakfast or for lunch or for dinner, I get the jar out of the refrigerator and I only take out what I'm gonna use. I don't want my salsas to get warm and sit out here for a while. They'll go bad a lot sooner that way. So the longer it stays closed, the longer it's gonna last. Every time you leave it open, let it sit out on the counter, on the table, and it's getting a lot of oxygen, that contributes to the salsa going bad a lot sooner. With that said, friend, don't let any chili peppers go to waste, regardless of which ones they are. Make a salsa, put it in a Ziploc, put it in a mason jar, stick it in the freezer. I am gonna freeze this one because I already have three jars up there in the refrigerator. Well, I have two, this will be three. All right, I'm getting ready to take another couple of bites. <laughs> Man, you can really taste all the different flavors there. I can taste the cilantro. I can taste the little heat. The serrano seems to hit right up here in the front. The arbol hits a little towards the back. The garlic's just right. I could use another two cloves of garlic. The uh, tomatillo gives it a little tart flavor. That lime, that squeeze of lime, really kicks it up a few notches. This salsa is very popular as a taco salsa. It's delicious, goes on everything. Friends, we're gonna go ahead and, and wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this video. We had a good time making it for you guys. Like always, I hope you try this salsa. Remember, there's no right way, wrong way. Make the salsa any way you like. I've got a ton of other dried peppers over there. So y'all stay with us. We're gonna make a few more salsas that I really think you're gonna enjoy. And if you're interested in our American Pitmaster barbecue rub, which is the WOW, the OG, and the brisket rub, you can go to pitmaster.us. If you are going to up your barbecue game, go to pitmasterclass.us and we'll see you there. Thanks for watching, friends. We'll see you at the next video. Keep the smoke light, make it work, and boom! Time to eat salsa. Vámonos. <laughs> it does seem to have mellowed out a little bit more as it got cool. Very, very interesting. Next time we'll put some habaneros in there. <laughs>